Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Crystal Bell. The title is The Fire Comes, and this word was posted September 27th, 2021. Behold, the hour of gross darkness has come. This is the last hour where darkness reigns. The heart of men has waxed cold and has become as stone. Lawlessness abounds in the earth. The great falling away has happened. Man fallen far, far from me. Knowledge of man has increased, running to and fro, lost in the sea of confusion and oblivious to all that has come to pass and is passing, looking, seeking all that is apart from me, lovers of self, boastful, prideful, arrogant, self-seeking, lovers of pleasure, friends with the world, and an enemy of God. I have wept torrents of tears over the rejection I have received in America alone, that what is written and has come to pass has caused me great, great suffering, my heart once again pierced, how I was rejected in America treated as a foe and most cruel, cast out and completely dismissed. I have increased the darkness in all the earth. I have increased it greatly in America, a land of darkness, a land of sorrow and mourning, a land of lamentations, a land of devils and foul birds, a home to harlots and idol idols. I have warned and warned, pouring out my spirit and giving dreams and visions, reining up my messengers and sending them early and keeping them late. Repent, repent, repent. Fallen on deaf ears and closed hearts, eyes blinded by the God of this world, deceived, bound and tangled, caught up in the world wide web, craftily spun and cast by man, held captive and led astray by the beast. I have turned my back to these people and not my front. The day of calamity has come upon you, O wicked and cruel nation who hates me and has done the same, turning their backs to me, wagging their fists of rage towards me, hating me for no reason. So dark and full of sin are you. I can stand before you, and yet you cannot see. You cannot hear. You recognize me not. Nothing new under the sun. What was is again. While men sleep and are unaware to all that has occurred, I am awake, and I am faithful. I am true. I am who I am. Complete and total destruction comes, and comes most swiftly. The fire comes, comes with vengeance and fury. I am justified in the total and complete destruction of America. Your nation has rejected me. You, America, have caused me the most profound of sufferings and have become an abomination and a stench to me. I have vomited you out and have handed you over to the hands of your enemies, a people whom were afar off to you. Have I drawn near? They shall stand and see the smoke of your burning. Smoke and ash are awarded to you. Woe to you, America. I have warned. I have spoken. To my faithful redeemed, to my little flock whom loves me at all cost, yea, even your own lives, whom have warned and warned again, whom have bore the pains I have shared with them, carrying their crosses and denying themselves, whom have given up all, dying to themselves and counted the cost of following me on the narrow path unto eternal life. Rejoice greatly, I say. Again, I say, rejoice, for great are your rewards. I have prepared a place that where I am, you may be also. It is finished. 
calamity and desolation, the final hour of a fiery red sky, clouds of fire, of revelation, of glory. I will not look upon you any more, America. Woe to all whom reject me. Woe to all whom mock me, whom have ignored my warnings of love and mercy. Woe to you. I am not mocked. What a man a nation sows, that shall they reap. When you took from me what was not yours and kept it for yourselves, barring me from entering, you had sealed your consequence. I will repay in full a nation whom has not desired me and had robbed me. Woe to you! This is the hour of great betrayal, the hour of Judas, and the hour when many, many will run and hide in fear, their hearts failing them, the hour of silence, of completion. This is the last hour. This is the hour of silence. Look up. Watch. I come. Quickly. Crown of glory. Crown of life. I will reap the harvest. I suffered hellaciously. For I will be satisfied in the travail of my soul. A holy people unto myself. My garden restored. Purity. Clean. Holy. All things new. The veil is torn. Arise, rise up, come out, enter in, awaken, Jesus Christ. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him right now. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him. You all have a great day and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.